Last night, we reported on allegations from former senior Scientologists that the leader of the church, David Miscavige, struck subordinates. Those accusers have since left the church, and they now say they hope celebrity members may also recognize what they call the church's darker side. Tom Cruise is a close friend of the ecclesiastical leader of the Church of Scientology, David Miscavige. I want to tell you something, that I, I have never met a more competent, a more intelligent, a more tolerant, a more compassionate being. Here he is receiving the organization's Freedom Medal of Valor at a prestigious ceremony. So I say to you, Sir COB, we are lucky to have you and thank you very much. In yesterday's broadcast, we focused on allegations made by former high-ranking Scientologists who claimed leader David Miscavige repeatedly struck subordinates. He just walked up and he hit me on the side of the head. It was a, he didn't have a closed fist, but it was an open hand. But it was, it definitely hurt and it definitely knocked me back. I saw him attack him while he was sitting in a chair and hitting him upside the head and then, and, and then wrestling him around the neck and throwing him to the ground. I saw at least a dozen times this happen. The church denies David Miscavige ever hit anyone. Sworn affidavits given to ABC News from over a dozen current Scientologists describe the allegations of abuse as vile falsehoods and say it was actually Marty Rathbun who was abusive. Rathburn concedes he was violent, but says he was encouraged to be physical by Miscavige. He and the other accusers believe Tom Cruise is too supportive of the church's leader. Tom Cruise, I don't appreciate the fact that he's supporting David Miscavige, because either he's supporting him and dumb to the fact that he is a total tyrant, or he's in agreement with it, and either way, that is really not okay. And former church executive Marty Rathbun hopes that the other most famous Scientologist, John Travolta, will reconsider his relationship with the church in light of the allegations of violence. What do you think of his position at the moment? Do you think that he's likely to leave? I think if he were exposed to the truth, the truths that are being spoken about what really is going on behind the facade, I don't think he would continue to support that organization. I think he'd check out in a heartbeat. In a letter sent to Nightline yesterday, Tom Cruise's attorney called the actor a man of spirit, intelligence and independence. He said Mr. Cruise is aware of the claims made against Mr. Miscavige by former members of the Church of Scientology. He does not believe them. We'll be right back, but first, here's Jimmy Kimmel with what's coming up next on ABC. Jimmy? Time now for tonight's closing argument. Over two days, we've examined allegations against the leader of the Scientology Church, the relationship between the church and its celebrity members, and a belief system many critics consider bizarre. The church vehemently denies any wrongdoing and defends itself as a religion. So tonight we ask you, should Scientology continue to enjoy tax-exempt status as an organized religion, or should the U.S. follow those nations which do not recognize Scientology as a religion? Tell us what you think by clicking on the Nightline page at abcnews.com or on the Nightline Twitter page. But that's our report for tonight. For Terry Moran, Cynthia McFadden, and all of us at ABC News, good night, America, and have a great weekend.